Japan. Well known for its typhoons, martial arts, video games, and an obsession with vending machines. These four stood here, are very close to my house, just outside Namunai Koen. It may surprise you that in addition to drinks, it also has ice cream and takoyaki. Taco, octopus. Yaki, grilled. As they are circular, I like to call them octopus balls. Straight from the machine, these are actually frozen, and the sauce you can forget. There's cooking instructions on the back, and let's pop these balls into the Denji Renji. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Oh yeah. Eating octopus balls may seem like a risk, but this Osakan cuisine is essentially wheat batter with a tiny bit of octopus meat inside. Add our sauce of choice, and then itadakimasu! Do you like to put octopus balls in your mouth? I bet Gordon Ramsay does. And here's our little piece of octopus meat. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. Nagoya is a large city in the center of Japan that is well known for its chicken wings. Today, we're going to go on a hunt to find some of the more unique vending machines. Usually, they're full of drinks and change from hot to cold, depending on the season. There are Japanese drinks manufacturers such as Daido, Suntory sell Pepsi drinks, and Coca-Cola sell Coca-Cola. And the drink that looks like pee. This machine sells coffee, red for hot, blue for cold, and all of these machines are at my local station alone. You may have noticed the counter at the top left, and if you're up for it, please take a guess at how many vending machines are in this video. Usually drinks cost from around 100 to 150 yen, and in this case we have a choice of black, with sugar, with cream, or with cream and sugar. Always bet on black. So for that 100 yen, we get half a cup of coffee. If you want better value, go to a convenience store. So we're going to go to Meitetsu Nagoya, and it's going to cost us 680 yen. So we need to pop our ticket into the turnstile. And collect it as we go through. Then we'll go to our platform, and then onto the train. At our destination, we'll use a ticket to get out, to find another vending machine. My tea's gone cold. I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. This is sparkling water with a hint of lemon. And we eventually ended up in Sakai. This is the shopping district in Nagoya, and you may recognize some of the buildings. This is the Ferris wheel attached to Sunshine Sakai, which is a shopping mall and home to Japanese idol group SK48. There's also a massive Don Quixote store, as well as a few karaoke venues. And then the Book Off Bazaar. This is a large recycle store selling clothes, as well as a vast array of electronic goods. Here's some stuff from the big end. A limited edition PlayStation 3. And some vintage handhelds. And check this. A Super Game Boy controller. Then should I go controller? Famicom Mini. On the other side of the glass case, we have mobile phones and computers. And plenty of anime goods. And a ton of games.
If you don't need a case for your games, loose carts can be had for slightly cheaper. This game here is sold for a dollar, it's Tales of the World. DS games. The more expensive games are hung up on these rails. There are two racks of games that are on sale. These are usually the more common titles. And we have a few racks of a retro game. In the Super Nintendo games, we're quite surprised to see Lemmings. It's going for 900 yen. Same with Final Fight. Rockman X2 is going for 1,500 yen. Rockman X, 900 yen. Super Mario World, 900 yen. Gambara Goemon, 1,500. They also have the box titles. This is the Super Mario Collection, selling at 1,800 yen. The shop itself is actually called Book Off. It has its fair share of books, CDs, and DVDs. So if you keep your eyes open, you can find a nice bargain. Oh yeah, Man of Steel. They do sell a fair share of board games, but remember that most of these will be only in Japanese. We heard from the grapevine that there's some decent vending machines in Oskanen. It's about a 20 minute walk, and we'll see if we can find some decent landmarks. There's one there. That's the Sakai Television Tower, seen in Yakuza 5. And there's some vending machines already. Why are the machines with the girly panties? Not that I need any. <laughs> this Coca-Cola vending machine here is a 10 second walk away from this one. Look across the street, and there's another. Japan is vending machine crazy. As we got to the Oz district, the weather decided to take a turn for the worst, but just behind us is a vending machine for discount train tickets. And just next to that is a machine that sells Pokemon cards. At least I think that's what they are. There's a card game shop right next to that machine. If this interests you, go take a visit. Now this logo is king. And then we hit jackpot. A vending machine full of baked goods. Apple pie, curry bread, and croissant. At this point the weather was getting worse and I was pretty hungry. Take my money. We're gonna try one of these. Wiener France hurricane bread. I expected it to be hot, but it was frozen. I guess we'll have to wait until we get home. As the phone needed charging and the weather was getting pretty bad, we had to find somewhere to stop and have a bite to eat. Lucky for us, we were next to a manga cafe. We pay for the booth and we get a little area to ourselves. I can charge my phone and also have a bite to eat. We have the usual suspects at around average price, as well as a ton of fry food. And on the back we got morning and lunch specials. A drink bar is included with the room, so we can just pop down here and get refills as many times as we want. There are soft drinks, coffee, teas and soft cream. Let's grab a cup, fill with ice, then we can add our drink. Outside regular Coke, they have lemon and melon. Regular it is. The cat's curry was all right. Let's have a look around. For about 200 yen, you could use the shower facility and the toilets were on the house. They have urinals, as well as toilets fixed with a washlet. Push the button for squirty squirty. And we cannot forget that this is a manga cafe. 
what would a manga cafe be without manga? After having a quick rest and charging the phone, we can get out. And the corridor adjacent is full of these places. Look at this! Halloween cafe, make you cute, a concept cafe. This looks great, but we're not going to go in. Because at the end of the corridor, we have the Taito Arcade Center. I scream, you scream, we all scream for Concept Cafe. Considering it's at the end of the also shopping district, this place has many machines. And can you believe that this game is an offshoot of Bomberman? I need these up on the holodeck. There are games by Sega. This one's Grand Fate Order Arcade. And this one's a new game for 2022, AK2 Tyson. And here's 2016's Kankole Arcade. This place has multiple dance machines like DDR. Initial decaps. And yet more rhythm games. There are plenty of pachinko machines. And more refreshments. When there's a place with pachinko, there's definitely a slot machine. And recently we've seen a surge in these rhythm games. And being in Japan, it's nice to see a Dragon Quest coin pusher. There are only medals in here as Japan has laws against using money. Or racing camps is Wangan Midnight and some drinks. There are these horse racing machines where you can gamble medals, but similar to the coin pusher you saw, we can't actually get any money out of these, so I don't know. And behind it, a wall of vending machines. This machine looks pretty cool. Toho, Raiden, and a Vulix with the Nessica X Live. These machines are just packed full of games. And over here we've got plenty of vertical shooters in Tate mode. And I'm sure you recognize these classics. But what is truly special is this machine at the very end. The Idolmaster Arcade. According to staff, there are only three in working order in this country. And to play it, you need an Idolmaster card that hasn't been in production for the best part of 12 years. More Nessica X systems. These will be using a Taito X Type 4. And over here we have some back-to-back -back Net City machines. What is quite surprising is the displays in these machines are actually very flat. But if we get up close and give them a tap, we can see that they are CRT displays. It's time for more drinks. And more arcades. This is the Gundam Corner. And in the center, this thing. Side to side fighting games. And lastly, Gitadora the Explorer. Just outside the arcade, there are plenty of drinks. And you may have noticed that in this video, not one of these machines sold an alcoholic beverage. There's some capsule machines here. They have toys in for like 200 yen or so. And let's continue walking. Eventually we found this machine. And around this area, it stank. But checking online, this seems to be some kind of hot sauce used in Thailand to give foe some kick. A 700 yen, it's a bit steep, but you know the saying, when in Rome. When in Rome, you chop people in half, 
lay down cobble roads than make rocky movies. And even though it's encased in a tube, this thing stinks. Let's try and find some more machines. This area here is in between the two main shopping streets. Close by there is a Mandaraki toy shop. If you can continue walking straight on, there's a PC store. And over here on the left, I've just found a Gundam bar. As we walked on, we found yet more drink machines. It's pretty crazy to think how common these things are. But eventually we found these. Daishidoraku Sodabush. The fish-based flavor enhancer. I'm not really a fan of fish, so I'm gonna give this on a pass. After around a minute of walking, we found some tullies. Yet more drinks. A 7-Eleven. And then just across the street, jackpot. Amazing. So this vending machine here sells these cute plasticine sets. There are the basic tubs, as well as zoos, restaurants, bakeries, and hair salons. Prices range from 350 to 1,200 yen, and I just have to get one. This is obviously for the kids, a sushi restaurant, and it's about time I headed home. This is the Nana statue, just outside Nagoya Station, and every now and then, it changes clothes. Honestly, I just think it's a bit weird. As we open the Sushi Plasticine set, here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. We fix and improve cheap arcade boxes, the A500 Mini, and create videos like this one. If you'd like to support us, please jump on, or hit that like, subscribe, and bell. There is a grand total of 84 vending machines, and if you got the correct value, Please get in touch via Discord. That is a pretty shitty sushi restaurant. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!